a solution to the problem of human pain, whether it be physical or whether it be moral, is to go right into it. Hey, hey, we're rolling. So, hey guys, everyone, welcome back to... <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is uh, Therapy for the Right Brain uh, by Megan Nager, produced by Alexander Wagner, and we have a special guest today. He's one of a, a great, great guy. He's a great guy. He does a lot of stuff. He's a busy man. He's a busy, busy man. He had a His intro was actually... Um, Self-written intro. I was like, you know what, Megan? <laughs> I got this. So you know what? Because of that... I would like him to introduce him. Do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. <laughs> He's been the live stream host for your favorite music festivals around the country, including Ultra, Hangout, Life is Beautiful, and many more, as he's introducing and interviewing your favorite artists, including the Chainsmokers, Tiesto, Afrojack, and so many more. You uh, can see him this fall on Fox, November 4th, Central Ave, Will Packer, and Debar Mercury's news magazine show, Central Ave, as a correspondent. So please set your DVRs now. And, of course, day to day, he's trying to, you know, create and sell and change the world in the TV game as he uh, you know, spends his other free time producing the Logan Paul podcast and Paul of the number one podcast in the world. So I think you guys are coming for that top spot. So <laughs> quite a long winded introduction. I, uh, we're happy you're here. Oh my God. I'm pumped to be here. Thanks so much for inviting me on. Of course. I'm um, happy to share any sort of time with you. You're one of my favorite people on planet earth. Oh my God. I'm going to cry. That's not a lie at Aww. all. Uh, when Megan and myself met, it's like we knew each other forever. Aww. And it was like we had an immediate connection. And I really enjoy spending time with her. Oh, my God. In a platonic way. No, but seriously, it's like my sister, and I really love hanging yeah, out with you. Yeah, my hands are always perpetually sweaty. If you they're cold and nice. I think the AC's helping it's you. It's the, they're clammy. Mm. I have clammy hands all the time. But they anyways. touching hands, by the way, Dylan, listeners. What, oh, yeah, they were, mm. we were. Um, Dylan, when I, no, when I met you, it was with Alex, you were yeah, there. Yeah. It was yes. that firework, and Dylan yeah. came in because he was going to host a show. And you were just like on crack. I was like, who <laughs> the fuck is this guy? Oh, he, he was <laughs> great though. He was a no. ball of sunshine oh, that yeah. day in Thank the you. office. Everyone was like, you. everyone was like, who is this? He's like, hey, hey, hey. Like you're very, you're they call me the hype guy. You're literally the hype guy. That's like, uh, you are very good at like bringing, you know, people are affected. Their energies are affected by other people. Well, yeah. everyone is, mm. hey, but yeah. you're good at like. I mean, I don't know. I don't see you all the time. But in those situations, you're good at, like, zoning that out and just being, like, you. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, going back to what I was saying earlier, you know, exactly. it you can't let other people dictate your behavior or your feelings. And it's hard, mm -hmm. but that's what we all struggle with. It's like, you got to just do you. And if anybody's, like, got anything to say about you, it's really more of a reflection of them and not about 100%. you. So what do you do in a case like yes. that? If somebody is affecting your energy, I you feel walk like out. coming on, you just walk, walk out. out. What about professionally? Don't even acknowledge. Don't even, I. I like that's in a bar. What, what about like. you can't walk out? No, exactly. I look at them right in the eye and I say, okay. <laughs> I say, I gather my thoughts that are spewing at 10,000 miles a minute about like how I want to just you know, say things. Right. And you just say. Fantastic. Okay. And you turn away, turn around and walk away. And you can't give in to stuff like that. Like no matter what, like you'll always lose. Mm -hmm. You have to be the bigger person. And there's te plenty of scenarios. Well, and also you're never perfect 100% of the time. So you're out right. there just trying to do your best. But in a professional scenario, if you can't deal with someone and they just get to you, you have to pass along the, you have to <coughs> give, um, delegate that interaction to somebody else. You have to go over to right. Megan and say, Megan, it's private look Megan it's very hard for me to deal with Alex Ann can you just please mm -hmm. tell her that we need her here at three o'clock mm -hmm. thanks so much I'll Appreciate work it. on that okay. how would you deal <laughs> with somebody that you let's say you you're hosting on the show it's an everyday mm -hmm. show that you do and it's somebody that you cannot get away from oh good call yeah. I've, I've, I've had I've had, I've had a co-host that. that we didn't really get along on the project mm. and since the show ended we've actually gotten along a lot better Interesting. Um, but yeah, it's just you have to just take it and take it in and just absorb it like a sponge and then just like let it out another outlet. And that's it. There's you'll always lose in that reaction. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. let, you know what? My mom always had the best the What'd best she advice. Say? She said, let people be right. Let them be right. If they have something to say or they want to have power over you or they want to control the situation, let them like it doesn't matter. It doesn't do Don't anything. Don't let it affect you. Yeah. Fine. You want to do it your way? Fine. You want to say that right now? Like, okay, and move along. That's what they need to do. Feel good for themselves right there in that moment. Let people be right and just move along. 
That's yeah. true. I started with somebody I recently worked with. Mm-hmm. Um, she became a very toxic person in my mm. life. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't somebody that I could get away from. But anytime mm-hmm. she would come into a room or like say anything, I would just get up and leave. Literally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. like it start anything like if I if I asked for, you know, advice or what do you think about this or this or this? It would always be no, no, no. Yeah. Like so I just stopped asking mm-hmm. what anything from her and I like just quit hanging out with her and I just like literally would leave the room. And I think that's fantastic. The one note I'll add, it's mm-hmm. like if it gets to a point where that also isn't healthy for the work environment, right? Mm-hmm. Where you can't do that. Mm-hmm. It's like you have to go the other way and just straight up say, Megan, we need to talk. There's been a lot of issues w- between our communication. And I think if we want this project to be successful, we have to get better at that. Mm-hmm. So you take it, make it about yourself. So what I can do, if this helps, is I'm going to do better at A, you know, mm-hmm. A B, and C. Mm-hmm. And for me personally, if you can just maybe possibly, um, for me personally, it, it helps when you let me know ahead of time if you're going to be late or if you right. allow me to get my opinions out before you speak, I'd really appreciate it. And, you know, at least that's said in the air. And you know what? At the end of the day, that might help everything. Just communication. It's yeah. true. I have noticed, though, and this could be I think there are s- s- you said earlier, like there's a specific type of person in L.A. who isn't like fully actually realized. Yeah. Say? No, it was really interesting. Yeah. But like I, I think and I've never run into so many difficult people as I have in Los Angeles. Um, and I've found that even like when I try all of those tactics, there's some people who you just really cannot ra- like reason with, like you just can't and no matter what you say. So at that point in time, you have to just be like, OK, this is what it's going to be like. I'm going to put up like an emotional barrier and just do my own thing, because sometimes mm-hmm. in the worst mm-hmm. case scenarios, I'm not saying always there are people who you will say all of that. And it's still like it's like you're talking to a wall or mm-hmm. like it's not penetrating there, you know, and then that's <laughs> why when you get to the really high levels, people just get fired. Or it's like that, that person's yeah. a difficult person. Right. They're just like removed right. from the project. And but that's why like working on set is so cool because like the the um, structure of like power and authority is so mm. concrete and known. Mm. It's in the DNA of working in Hollywood for hundreds of years that if the director gives an order to the AD that gives an order to the cat, it's like right. boom, boom, boom. And to the, the camera person just says, yep. Even yeah. if that camera person doesn't agree with the direction, it's like you got it. Yeah. And like that's why working on a set is so beautiful. Why generally sets are a great place to be and they're not toxic environments because everybody like does their job. They're there to not be a problem. And then that when that person is a problem, it's like yeah, they're just then you're not just included. Hundred yeah. percent. And so like to take that to the real <laughs> world, it's like when somebody says something to you, it's like just like go for it and not put up a fight. Yeah. 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 Love it. So Dylan also produces Logan Paul's podcast. This is correct. And Dylan is also, which most people who I know, I feel like in entertainment are either actors or writers, but you happen to be a host. Mm-hmm. That's really all I wanted to say. <laughs> <to be> honest. <laughs> host. Yes, I actually like the term on, on camera personality. Okay, love That's, that. Love that. It's funny thing is, is I, I love the word host. Mm-hmm. Like when I see it written or mm-hmm. when I see it as a job, I love it. But right. when I describe what I do, I rarely say that because that's just like, oh, here's what's coming up next. Here's what's coming up next. It doesn't really describe like what that person brings to the role. Uh-huh. So when someone mm-hmm. say, hey, what do you do? I said, I'm an on camera person. I'm a God. Say I'm an on camera personality. You know why I'm talking fucked up? Why? Because I never talk this low. I'm like whispering this. Ha- Are you? I, yeah. Well, you're also Dude, like talking like this. You're this also you have a loud voice yeah. and you also are very like you're talking into the mic like yeah. you're you're like you're making out with it. But that's not me. So it's well, more he's like this. still it's in like, Sunday do still, night. Right. Do you, still sound, do you still hear me normally if I talk? Yes. Like this? It's very far away, though. Right. So what I normally say yeah. to somebody, oh, what, what do you do for a living? I'm an right. on camera personality and unscripted producer. Maybe because you you like to move your mouth a lot. So that's maybe true. when it's like super close to the mic that right. it gets, it's you know, true. <laughs> but in acting, in acting, you're supposed to like not open your mouth like at all. Because the camera's so close to your face. I if mean, you open your mouth big, it's like, oh my God, your mouth is taking up the where, whole screen. Where have you trained? Where have you trained? No, it's true. <laughs> it's true, Alexander. Don't worry about it. I love, okay. I love okay. I will being not able open to my do. Mouth. Maybe I'll book more roles that it's way. It's true. You know? It's like, you oh just my have God. God. No, I think You're that's like, ha, ha, when it's It's so up. funny. I love you. Oh. It's true. No, you don't. It's not true. <laughs> it's literally, if you're watching this and you want to be an actor, it's not true. No, it's true. And you're close up. Don't open your mouth so much. She's dead. You I don't can't believe it. she's dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a difference between that and then there's like, she's not, you know, like. 
<laughs> yeah, obviously he wouldn't be booked as a you know <laughs> Chinese character. Oh, I didn't. Was that Chinese? Was I that don't know what that was. Oh, I think he said she's hot. No, he said she's dad. I guess it. She's dad. <laughs> <laughs> what is she's dad? Oh. I'm doing this like ca- fake this character that's like. I said German, and it sounds just Eastern European. I was like, oh, mm. y'all, she is mm. dead. Oh. I think that's it. it that's was for your, your show later today, which we can't talk about. What? Oh, it's not. No, I'm not doing that on the show. I'm not being a German character. No. But I that's don't a great gig. I'm so happy for you. Thank yeah, you. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you want to talk you. about yourself real quick? Are you I mean, allowed to talk about it, by the way? I, I don't know. know. Did you sign anything? I but like, it's not even about yet. that. It's like, wait till it's on. Yeah. That's what I get. Because, yeah. you know, it's, it's yeah. a pilot, and then I am get like, it could easily go nowhere, which has happened to me like a million times. So mm-hmm. now I don't get myself too amped up. Like, yeah. I don't even like to like tell yeah. that many people because I'm like, there's yeah. nothing to it's tell. Always, it's always better to show your success rather than talk about what you're doing. Work hard in silence. Let yes. your success yes. speak for yourself. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a good Is that one. from Instagram? I think I've seen Pretty it. It's definitely like a media. Google it's quote. A yeah, media it's quote definitely a Google sure. quote. But it's a good quote. It's a great quote. It's a good quote. I'm happy to announce that tomorrow I'll have an announcement to make. Like, that's such an some personal thing. news personal <laughs> news hey guys listen i know a lot of you have been asking me like what i do for a living but get this tomorrow i'll be excited to announce that i have an announcement to announce i love that it's i'm gonna use that i want to do that to piss people so off tune like, in can't for wait. The announcement tomorrow. <laughs> yes. hey guys it's time for the announcement tomorrow i'll have an announcement okay well okay so first of all how long have you been in la six years I feel like we've all been six or I'm seven. Like se- I'm seven now. Okay, yeah. six, seven, six and a half. And it feels like I just got here. Same. Like it feels like this past year has been like, even though I've done all this work, like emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, sexually. sexually yeah, seriously, like everything. It feels like <laughs> only like this past year was like my first year. Interesting. Is that because you've been like doing more? And I had a relationship for three years. That it kind of was not in a good place oh, for like three so years. You, so like, it's like when I moved here, I had like my first year where it's like, okay, it's your first year, you're not doing that much. Right. And I was in a relationship for three years. Oh, I actually yeah, had the yeah, same yeah. thing. Makes, and and so it's sense. like, you know, okay, you do it. your work when you can, but I wasn't like out there like right. doing, doing it, as, it, you know, mm-hmm. because you get a little like comfortable and for whatever. Sure. And I wasn't really feeling myself that hard. And then like we broke up and then like that whole year of like break, you know, recovering from a breakup is like real. And then this past year has been like, okay, I'm like here and it's, it's fun. Mm, it's yeah, so yeah, true. Yeah. I think yeah. that happens to me too. Cause it looks back on, I'm like, oh, it's been almost seven years. I'm like, what the hell was I doing? Mm-hmm. Cause I was still doing stuff, but you're not like, like, what were you doing? I yeah. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's, what's so cool about like when you get a real job, like in enter- like when you work on a television <laughs> show for however many episodes, you're there every day for multiple weeks for like episodes, like in the gig economy, it's like, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you're doing a lot, but it's like, yeah, it was like one day here, right. two days here. Right. It's like, it wasn't like, oh my God, for the last six months, every day I was on set in Hawaii. It was amazing. <laughs> I'm, my life's changed. Those what an amazing <laughs> job. <laughs> so looking forward to that, that weekly or everyday show is, is fantastic. I know. That's what's, okay, so this is perfect for the topic of the show. Mm. So that's what's weird about this industry is because we don't have nine to five jobs usually, that you do take these gigs and then the downtime in between can get a little like depressing. It's brutal. Yeah. If you are not mentally yeah. strong, this it's yeah. like, oh my God, been, I love that. Let's talk about it. it. It's seriously like this town. There's been so many times where you're just like, as first of all, the loneliness is like legit. And it's not like, what do you mean you're lonely? It's because yeah. like the town is very isolating. Very. So in New York city, you go out for a coffee you, you've literally interacted with 12 people. Mm-hmm. There's a chance you don't even get back to your house for four hours mm-hmm. because you had to go to Rite Aid and then you bump into a friend mm-hmm. and then you sit here and then like, oh my God, you took a walk. And it's like, there's so much going on here. You can literally go days without interacting with another human oh, person. Yeah. And this is facts yeah. because you wake up, you go in your car, you go to the gym, mm-hmm. you have your headphones on. You, maybe you get something to eat where you talk to the cashier, maybe. And you like, if you can afford lunch, go, you know, <laughs> literally, yeah. um, <laughs> sit down by yourself, Oh, baller. Watch <laughs> out. Definitely not that. I had to stop going to Air One because I was like, oh, break the I bank. Can't. Me too. But it's I'll, so good. It's so fucking good. But I'll go and buy like 15 things. And I'm like, I just spent $200. Your rent. My it's rent. like, why did I do that? My first year in LA, I lived literally around the corner from Air One. So you can imagine by me? how much money I spent. Oh, I'm sure. I, I spent more there than I actually made my That's first what, year in LA. Dude, did you? Unreal. But you hey, you could just go in and get a sushi sample. Balding? Spalding yeah. Avenue? Yeah, I lived on Spalding. I d- why does everyone live on Spalding? I know like 10 people who Dr. live on Spalding. Spalding. Right <laughs> right near where I live Air now. Yeah. Oh. Oh, did uh, you live upstairs, uh, Broadcast well, Center? S- 
I uh, actually lived over there too. Hauser. Yeah. Hauser yeah, yeah, yeah. Boulevard. I lived over there I too. I live on Hauser. Yeah, Hauser. But I'll tell you my address yeah. in case people want to stalk me. But like, yeah. Or send me gifts. Yeah. Or you can send me <laughs> gifts if you want. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So you yeah. have to be mentally strong. Okay. Because, mentally strong. Okay. So like last week, no I, had, I worked two days in a row for an amazing gig that brought me so much joy and happiness. That it was like your life is transformed when you have purpose, when you do what you're good mm-hmm. at, when you interact with people that add value to your life. You're like, oh my God, like this is life. And it's like, you want to keep that consistently. Yeah. And so when you're not doing that, how do you maintain yourself? And it's through meditation, it's through your yoga practice, it's through social groups, whatever you can do. And it, what, wh- when you wake up any, every day, it says, what do I have to do to make myself happy? And so for me personally, like being social, is huge for me. Like having a social life, yeah. not that I have an amazing one and I always want more of a social life. And again, you have to get through this part of your life of like, oh, what I need, what I want. If I only had this, I'll be happy. Like you have everything you could ever need. Mm. So you have to wake up every day and say, if I want to be happy, just be, I am joy. I am joy today. So if you close your eyes and say, when I have this, I'll be happy. Just do that now. It's the same. Such a big thing. It's the same thing. So if you close your eyes and say, when I have that big house, and for me personally, it's like when I can have that big house and have people over and like, you know, have a party and everyone could just be ha- like, you know, host people at the home and like host. Seriously, like I love being able to like have people over and like throw a party for people and like oh. have everyone just have the best time ever. So like Saturdays, open house, come over. It'll be always popping. Yeah, I want to do that. Yeah. yeah. And so like when I, it's like, you could just have that same feeling now when you don't have those things. So yeah. it's true. Let's um, talk about uh, meditation for a minute. Yeah. So you sure. you do it daily, and what type of meditation I do, do you do? Vedic meditation, which oh, is okay. based on the Ayurveda. <gasps> yeah. Which is like the OG stuff. Oh. Where do you? And did you take? You've told me about this before. But so I, it's twice a day for twenty minutes. Right. If mm-hmm, you're doing it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the way you're supposed to. And be, did you it's take a, a class to get into it? So or? there's an intro that you have to go to a. A meditation teacher, okay. which you can definitely go to my teacher, or he's not even my teacher, but he's the guy I go to group with, and I've been with him for like years because he's amazing. I would like to talk but to you about yeah, this. Yeah, so yes, you go to the, you go to your teacher's house. I would like to get the information. You go to your teacher's <laughs> house for like four days in a row, and I went a lot. It was very cool because I had like one on one, but you, oh. know, you know, might not get one on one. You go through a whole service, like a like a like you learn stuff, and then after like the four days, you go through like a little ceremony, and now you're like in, and you get your mantra. Oh, your mantras personalized yeah. to you and you're never to speak it yeah. to anyone or say it out loud um and then uh, you're on your own every day twice a day 20 minutes i do it immediately when i wake up for 20 minutes and then you're supposed to do it a second time before your second meal and let me tell you that i can remember when i was literally doing it twice a day and like yo that it's unbelievable how it's mad it's magic it so is it's like, it's i've gone magic. through periods of meditating and it's Phenomenal. And once a day helps, but twice a day is how you're supposed to do it, and it's amazing. What's weird, though, for me is I went through, I would do it, like, I would go to classes where I'd meditate for an hour mm-hmm. in a row, mm-hmm. and then, and I would feel amazing. Mm-hmm. But then it's so weird, because I'm out of it now, but I'm like, oh, I need to do that. But then mm-hmm. I don't do it. Just do it. I know. Most but people get in their own way, and then, and then recently I did a hape. You know about hape? No. So in Malibu, there's a beautiful meditation center called Malibu Meditations, and it was a col- uh, work friend's wife who runs the studio, and she's South American, and she's like the shaman, and she has this South American, it's like uh, Venezuelan tobacco, but it's not like tobacco that you smoke, and it's like ground up really fine, and she like blows it up your nose, but like you don't <laughs> inhale, you, you hold your breath, and she goes, <laughs> and it goes into your nostrils, and it like cleanses your whole soul, you tear up, it was amazing, you focus on an intention, and then we went into like a two hour meditation oh my God. in Malibu, J- beforehand I went in the ocean, it was what a day, and it was so amazing, and the hape was really cool, it was the first time I've ever done it, I'm also a big fan of mushrooms, definitely eat some mushrooms, me too, me too. they're just so good, <laughs> yeah. we ate mushrooms that day at the I party, know. I was gonna ask you if I could get some, Vi- <laughs> Vi- and that, that cap was so good, Dude. that was like the best, we only split one, but till this day, it was the best half cap ever, so really? Dylan invites me to Logan Paul's was it his birthday? Uh, I think it was just a party. It was a party. And I'm like, uh, I don't know anyone, but I, I can be social. So Dylan. I invited me. her Dylan. because I it was I just had started working there. And so I was happy to go. But and I have no problem going alone to places. But I also like didn't know what the vibe was going to be. So I was like, it'd be kind of cool to bring a friend. That way I can like if if nothing's popping, I can like post up with my Crush. friend. But I didn't want to be a guy, bring a guy because like that was kind of right. fucked up. Yeah. I would have. So I was like, oh, my God, Megan's great. She's social because even if I bring a friend to a party, I don't hang out with you. I'm like, OK, great. Oh, yeah, I know. And I I'm figured like, that out. <laughs> oh. Do you ever meditate and take shrooms? No, it's actually I talked to this um, 
like the head guy, the head Vedic meditation guy, Tom Knowles, we ha he had like a LA day and I think he's going to be back actually. And it was brought up about it because essentially what meditation is doing is the same thing the mushrooms are doing, but obviously organically and naturally. Right. So it works just way better because what the mushrooms are doing are, is forcing your brain to act that way. Mm. Okay. And it's activating those things through this other substance, even though mushrooms are from earth, which is awesome. Meditation is everything that's happening from that. It's just like magically. Interesting. So if you do it twice a day, 20 minutes, everything, all the benefits you're getting from the mushrooms, okay, but mushrooms will help you with like anti-depression, anti-anxiety. It helps like retrain your brain to think in a better way. I think they're so cool. Mm -hmm. But do you ever, do you ever get like hangovers from them or withdrawals? No, no. I've never. I haven't that. either. That's no. why, but that's what's so cool. That's what's like cool. From the earth. Yeah. It's like from the earth. And like acid's cool, but it's not I've never from done earth. acid. It's so. And it's stronger. I feel like yeah. it's so aggressive. It is. I haven't. It have is. you done it? I've. So oh, I've done like acid. but acid's but not randomly. like oh I'm just gonna like chill <laughs> and drop and just, like, acid yeah. right like it's more of like a you have <laughs> to like have have your <laughs> wait speaking of all of this and talking about mental health and stuff so you're into meditation stuff you're yes. also are you religious at all no but I I go to black church on Thursdays and I go to agape on Sundays and I'm Jewish and I just love oh my god you go to agape, agape, agape yeah. I used to go to agape have you been no I want to go I'll so go bad. with you it's, my, it's yes. very important to me I love my Sundays Giants football started so it's hard to go now every Sunday but um and so it's, it's like I also know like the rock talks about this a lot but I was thinking about it before the rock talked about it uh <laughs> but course. it's about like having your anchor <laughs> and it's like so for me on Sundays not counting football season it's like okay you do your whole week you have your Saturday on Sunday it's like Go to Agape, like yeah. do what you have to do, take a personal day. Like you have to have your thing that like grounds you for sure and like anchors you down that you could like do your operation. So a lot of time when that's why it's like when you don't have that income or you don't have that one little job, it's like, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, you're like just like feeling like, uh, you know, so you got to mm -hmm. have like some grounding up, ground. Exactly. It's that so way true. you can like operate yeah. and come back and this, operate, and come back. This guy who was like giving me kind of like business slash life advice. He said that who's in this industry, he was just like, this industry is so unpredictable that you need to do whatever you can in your power to make your life somewhat predictable, mm. whether that's like a one day a week, right. like thing you always do, like mm. go to agape or you go to lunch with friends on mm -hmm. Wednesday or like you. Routine. Well, certainty is one of the six human needs. In addition to uncertainty, ooh, so variety slash uncertainty. So you have certainty. Interesting. Variety. Uh, I, I, you gotta look him up, but it was like a Tony <laughs> Robbins thing. Uh, but <laughs> one of them is definitely like yeah. contribution to your community. Right. Um, oh. certainty, variety, contribution. There's like three more, but they're very important. And when you read them, you're like, yes, those are the things. Oh, like growth. So what yeah. we need to do to be happy is challenge ourselves so we could accomplish and grow. Right. That's very important. If you just like lay stagnant, you're not fulfilling yourself. But what I've heard from someone I don't know, so I can't give him credit to quote, but I often think about this is like keys to be happy. And by the way, happiness is not this like eternal success where it's like, oh my God, I got it. I'm happy now forever. For sure. It's just like, oh shit, that was an amazing day. I'm so happy today. I'm so happy right now. This has been great. And then you might not be happy for a, for whatever period and you have to just realize that and like ebbs and flows yeah just know it and then move on and then when you're happy so it's not like oh my god i'm now forever happy so it's something to do something to look forward to and someone to love so that's oh. what i've heard so not counting the love part for now something to do and something to look forward to is so important and it's hard out here because you can have a a week where you really don't have a lot going on yeah. and so like what are you going to make going on? So even when Megan hit me up last night saying, come on here, it's like, boom, I'm inspired. Tomorrow, yeah. 10 o'clock, I got to go to the gym first because then I'm going to come yeah. here and it's to help start the day. It's so true. But even when you don't have like something to do, it's like, what do you do? So it's like, if I'm not working that day, I usually have my little routine of like gym, go to Takaya. It's like my little office, go to the Takaya. library. Um, I'm always at the library. What library? Know, right here across the street. That's where oh my, we've we never said, been there. I know. Go to the library all the time. I need it's, to start, free books. I need to start going there. It's amazing. Nice? It's amazing. It I'm there really all nice. the time. I love reading. I love getting books. Um, Do they have Wi Fi? They have Wi Fi. I need to they go have work free there. Free parking. Yeah. Um, and it's just great. And then, like, what do you do? You know, meditate, group meditation on Monday. Try to do some open mics here and there. Try to get there. I, you know, I go to, I have in the past gone to meetings. I don't really go to any meetings right now, but meeting. Oh, like work like meetings. Slaw. DA. What's law? Sex and Love's Anonymous. 
Are you? No, not really. But it's like it's just good to go. And like really? when I was going through that breakup, my sister encouraged me to like just go and talk. And it was like really beneficial because you hear other people's point of views about things. And it like gives you perspective and you connect with people in the same part of you. And it's all about like the human condition. So at first you're like, no, I can't go. Like I have friends that have struggled with their own substance abuse or mental and it's like oh i'm not going no i'm it's because you're afraid or you're feeling secure about it but it's actually yeah. not a sign of weakness it's a sign of strength for it's sure it's like i've gone yes. to debtors anonymous and yes. do i owe a million dollars in debt no but have there been points in my life where i really haven't made as much money yeah. as i need to survive sure so i go and then you hear people with re real fucking problems yeah put shit in perspective yeah. i used to i went to <laughs> and then you learn how to like get better so it's not like a sign of weakness oh i'm a loser it's like oh let me go and guess what shit changes so like and the funny thing is, it's like when you're doing OK, it's like that's when you should go too. for it's sure. It's not like, oh, I'm better now. I shouldn't go. Um, but it's like, you know, it's uh, whatever. And well, that's like if you can't afford therapy, speaking of therapy, because yeah. yeah. therapy is freaking expensive. That's a luxury like, and it's amazing. My, my I'm, wow, that'd be really awesome. Hers expensive. is insane. You go once a week? What? I go twice a month. Yo, let's go vibes. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I love I honestly like I'm like right now I'm working through a lot of child trauma uh -huh. that happened to me. And I'm like, I it's. Uh, Imagine not changed. having that. Oh my god! It's yeah. in, it changes it's your life, it really right? So to that point, I'm about addicted to it. I'm 100 fully addicted it's great, to and it. that's why the meetings are good because if you can't afford therapy because you share. I can't afford yeah. therapy, but I, I know. Yeah, <laughs> no, I stopped doing it for now because I've gone for years. But I was just like, okay, I could take a break, especially because yeah. it's expensive. Yeah. But it's funny because one of my friends years ago, he was like, "Come to an AA meeting with mm. with me." He said to me, and I was like, "I'm not going to an AA meeting." And he so and he was like a really mm -hmm. he was an alcoholic but he was sober for years so i was like okay i finally went he just kept harping on me oh. for kind of for the same thing like he was just like not everyone there is an actual alcoholic and i want to say really? is like yo people have this misconception about yeah. meetings it's like oh that's all bad people with problems exactly you go there it's like the best place everyone is so healthy you know that yeah. feeling about people in la not really being fully realized as people perspective yeah. on life. these people are the ones that are aware like of like very old i souls. need to work on myself let's all be better oh a community God, and the same idea <laughs> of when you work at a set of how everyone understands yeah. the roles and respect of each other and those meetings it's very understood you don't misbehave you don't yeah. there's no conflict everyone allows people to talk everyone is there to be make each other better and make themselves better and it's such a great reflection of society and it's actually everyone there is healthy yeah and you know even myself i used to be like i'm not going there people have problems then you go and you're like whoa and especially in LA, it's There's like also, you're gonna see an actor or a director so or many, writer. There was yeah. like really a lot of like famous people, mm -hmm. and I so I spent go. most of the time. I was like, I had just been to, gone to LA, and I was like, oh my god. It's gosh. a beautiful thing, and if you're not an alcoholic, you can yeah. go to Al-Anon, which is about like the being a relation in having right. A relationship There's a ton of stuff, and also like who doesn't over drink sometimes? You know, mm -hmm. I so I, I was know. like, part of me. Oh, okay. No, I, I was talking <laughs> to some kids, and they were like, they were like, I was like yeah, oh, I'm not sex and I love guess. addicts. I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna. Everyone's just fucking each other. I'm like, <laughs> no, they're not, dog. There's like, th there's like a lot of rules. Like, it's not it's just fucking each other. Exactly. <laughs> did no. you choose? Hey, do I want a man or a woman therapist? And why did you choose a man? Uh, so I actually, it it wasn't man or woman. Uh, I was referred to a girlfriend of mine who was working through child trauma stuff, and he's actually the therapist that helped. Um, the man who was molested by Michael Jackson mm. through supposedly, uh, yeah, oh supposedly. yeah, yeah. But he's very well known in in Hollywood too. Uh, oh, cool. So he was like, he's like the guy. He's yeah, yeah, but he does a lot of like. Uh, do you know what EMDR is? Yes. No. Oh, please, it's please help. It's uh, like, how do you explain? So EMDR? You what does it stand for? And so which one do you do? Do you do like I've the done, lights, like, or do you do the hand? So EMDR is basically it's working on connecting the right and left hemispheres of your brain. Mm. Perfect for this show. So because a lot of times that can they believe can lead to anxiety, depression, like trauma. Like it helps, Disease. it helps your brain like <clears throat> connect better, essentially. So there's different ways to do it. It's it's I, the one I've done is you listen to music mm -hmm. while you talk through a traumatizing event, and so you can. It's very subtle in the background, but it'll go back from like right ear to left, right mm. left. Right. So anything that's stimulating both sides. So mm. it could be light, it could be video, it could be mm. music. As you're going through this event, it tries yeah. to just balance out your yeah. Well, because that was the thing about. You're reprogramming your oh, brain. For sure. And that's the beautiful thing because that's when, when, so yeah, I've done mushrooms socially, but I've had my first experience with mushrooms was like a trip, like a reel with a shaman, yeah. like a hike. Oh. It was beautiful. It was for like full six hours where you're like on something and you have different experiences and whatever bullshit you have in your life, you realize like, and it really is part of your brain of where you think because like for then sure. 
those things that are like bothering you, they become so small and visible. And for me, it was like, they like rose above my palette of what my brain was. And they're just like wiped away. Yeah. It's like these things that are floating around inside your mind and your brain that just gain perspective and these little things just fucking wipe that shit out. That's why I think like I've always had really bad anxiety, which has kind of led to depression because you're so anxious for so long. You're what, just which like, do you fuck. prefer? Which is worse? <sighs> Cause here's what I was thinking. Like anxiety is anxiety is fearful, right? So it's scary. And depression to me just sucks. So it's it, like one, one, pretty... one has a one, one has like effects, right? The other one just to me, it just like, it sucks. It's weird because my anxiety when it gets super bad where it's just like, okay, I'm walking through life with like buzzing in my head. I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of like floating above my body and I'm like not really there. And then that always turns into depression. So I think the worst for me is like that really little small in between mm. space where you're just like, fuck. Mm. And then also, oh, and what do you do to feel better? about? Well, yourself? I for years, I walked through life for like up until I was probably 18 having horrible generalized anxiety disorder i had no idea i would just always say i'm stressed mm. and then i was put on zoloft oh pills and i was Medication. like and literally <laughs> i remember i was it didn't kick in it took like two weeks to kick in and i was on a hike in north carolina with my friends and i just like felt this like intense like feeling of relief and mm. i just remember like I literally dropped to my knees and started sobbing because I was like, I have never in my life right. not felt that intense pressure now, for is a the, second. Is the relief from worry? What is the relief from? Were you Did you mm. realize at that point, oh, I was worrying about stuff for no reason? Or yeah. I, it's worry. I would, I, first of all, like, I think just like Jew, neurotic Jews. Yeah, like I mean, parents. we generally have that yeah. already. Like, yeah, like my yeah. family's very great, neurotic. but very. like my parents, it's always like, you can't go ride your bike like someone's yeah. gonna kidnap you, cut you into pieces that's and right. put you in a box, oh. you know, like, like extreme, mm. like, you know, so that's not helpful or healthy. Um. Love my parents, but like, you know, what the fuck? No, and I, my friend <laughs> mentioned she was on it too, and she was like, oh my God, life changing. It was, well, I've, I, I've since, you know, tweaked it, yeah. but like, um, then I was put into this super intense academic school where like, if you don't get an A, you're a loser. Mm. So mine was always, I developed this coping mechanism where I would always tell myself that I sucked or wasn't gonna do well because I would always do better than mm. the worst I thought I would do. So I trained myself to be like, you suck, you're gonna fail. You suck, you're gonna fail. And then I'd always do well, and I was like, yes. Mm. So everything in life, I looked at like that. Wow. So having that like inner voice of like, you suck, you're gonna fail, also, is just like, fuck. Yeah, I was That's also like, gonna I say, think. it's like, you have to understand like things are outside of your control. So it's like, if it's outside your control, you it's have to It's a control let it thing go. too, for sure. Because even right now at this podcast, it's like, oh my God, I don't wanna look bad. I don't wanna say anything stupid. It's like, I want it to be, a you gotta just say fuck it. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Like yeah, you gotta just sure. say fuck. You gotta just remind yourself to say fuck it. Who cares? And a lot of times, what helps if you're ever feeling stressed, stressed is like <laughs> think about the scale of who we are in comparison to the universe. So like literally, like zoom out from <laughs> your body to this room, to this building, to this city, to the state, to the country, to the world, and like zoom out, and you're so insignificant and it doesn't wow, matter. Thank like, you. Yeah. Thanks, Dylan. Seriously. You don't matter. <laughs> no, like we're, it's all no, it's whatever. True, like so we are right. so okay. self-centered and narcissistic <laughs> that we think true. we're these like, it's, <laughs> it's all good. And by the way, most people are just worried about themselves yep. anyway. And if you are yes. having, if you yes. have severe anxiety, depression, whatever, and it is a chemical thing, the be best thing you could do is literally just remove yourself from that situation and mm. get a new point of view, whether it's like going to a mountain or going to a class or going to a meeting. And like, it still might be there, but I think sitting and dwelling on it, like how we were talking about very it's negative worst, people earlier, yeah. like you are not gonna lift yourself out of that by recycling it over and over. Mm. Like literally just go outside in your pajamas motion creates walk. emotion there you uh, go the only thing i want to talk about medication which i'm not a personal fan of but if it helps you god bless you i'm but not either that's so i have an internal debate guess all the time. what all I the like school shooters that. have in common bruh they're on oh, medication cool. and they don't talk about it because why that would be very bad for the <laughs> drug companies but that's what they all have in common <laughs> so it's not good okay in well theory. i am fucked then yeah. i'm just kidding well so my dad's a doctor and he didn't want me to take anything for years. That's why mm -hmm. I didn't go to a psychiatrist till I was 18, which I'm happy I didn't because like, I don't want to be in Prozac in second grade. But um, <laughs> I still have this internal debate and my doctor probably thinks I'm insane because every time I go in, I argue with her about how I should stop taking this and it's bad for my brain. And she like, she actually gets mad. Like she's just like, then you should stop seeing me because I've told you a million times, like this isn't, if it's helping you, then do you want to live like this or this? Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> 
But I do think that there are periods when I've gone off of it and I've been fine. But I've noticed for me, I need a constant release of emotion if I'm not on it. So I need to either be okay, like great. purging, like great, get out there, go to boxing, go to yeah, uh, like I need like do this, like uh, intense, like maybe like therapy five times a day every day. But you also have a boyfriend, so like, don't you get to talk to him about stuff? Yeah, of course. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. He, lo he, I don't know if he likes it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like, that's a great. Is like, you really feel like your best self. Like, For sure, it brings it out. It's like, and it's a great and happy. For me, happiness is like the best aphrodisiac. So it's okay. like, if I'm not feeling myself, like I don't, I can't even like. Ugh. It's like, Ugh. but like when you're feeling yourself and things are good and you're going great and you're, you're like, okay, and like you could like do your <laughs> like, thing, you know? Have you okay? Are, are have you ever been? Um, anxious or depressed? Like, do you ever deal with yeah, that? Yeah, a lot. Okay. A lot. Because you're a very positive Yes, person. I know. And so what happens is I get down on myself yeah. because I am this, like, upbeat, happy person who's never dealt. Like, growing up, I, I've never even, I remember, like, the first time I ever felt, like, anxiety. I, I felt it for the first time ever. You know, as you grow up, there's all these other things in life. And I felt this, like, weird feeling in my stomach. Are you stomach. young? No, no, no. That's, like, yeah, after college. The butterflies. Yeah. After, like, right? After yeah, college? 100%. Never felt anything other than, like, perfection in my mind as like always the most upbeat positive like oh God, perfect person so like as far as like mental health is going i'm very grateful for that and then you become an adult and like there's like a lot of other shit involved yeah in, like, of course. an adult like there's just like a lot going on like yeah you know paying your rent <laughs> yeah. being bills. A, bills paying your rent be, and especially as a man it's like now you can't just like okay whatever you have going for yourself now you gotta like make a lot of money yeah. like crush it like there's a you know well yeah because you feel the need to like provide yeah and i like that idea of like being that person and like you want what you feel on your inside to be reflected by like your outside so like right. for me it's like if i can't afford to like buy my own lunch or pay for my friend that feels shitty i want to be able to like buy all my mm, friends drinks i yes, want to be able yeah. to like take a girl out and not think I'm about insane. it like that's yeah, just like my nature so th like when you can't do that you feel like this like other version of yourself and it sucks right but again, it's like you have to believe in yourself and know who you are and not let it affect you that much. And like for me personally, if I'm with my friends and like I'm not doing well financially at the moment, I'm like, yo, can you get my lunch? And it's like I have no problem saying that because it's like I would do that for anybody no matter I, I, I do that now. Even if I spend my last dollar on my friends because like that's what I like to do. Oh, yeah. he's so you know I, like to, I like to say you got this, right? Yeah, you got this. Can you, right? yeah, can you get this one? It's like this. because it's also like I'm not always broke because like then when I have sure. money, no, it's I'm like the same way. I, I, I get it. I don't even let them at like I just return the favor 100 percent to mm. me like we're all we're all connected. We're all family like straight yeah. up. Like I feel like I feel like I do that like with my boyfriend mostly though. Mm. Like, what? Yeah, you got this babe, right? Yeah. Do you guys and you should never feel guilty about saying that. Oh, no, and, like, I don't. A friend no, no. of my, a friend should <laughs> never say. Yeah, I'm a chick. I don't. I, no, never. No, because I don't. Well, but even vice who, versa, a guy, if you're in a comfortable relationship, he should. Okay, babe, can you get this, please? You know? Yeah. No big yeah. deal. Does that bother you or no? What? But if not a on a first like, date, dog. Not on like when you're no, dating. When you're not dating. on the courting. No, when you're courting. First of all, if you can't afford to date, you can't date. I'm sorry. I I actually thank you because. You know what? It sucks because I get it. If you're broken, you do want to date. That sucks. But it sucks. Sorry. But Sorry. at the same time, like, especially when I There's first moved to LA, there were a few guys I did go on a dates with. And I'm like, this is really like, you're not going to split it or yeah. something. Yeah. And I'm like, no, no like I no, won't. Now I'm just like, no. Th no, there's no second date that comes out of that. No, no, no. Oh, of course. No, but you start with coffee first. Well, yes. that's the then yes. you know drink. I mean? You like, get a drink. drink I, and my sister's really money, honey used to get on me because like I'm very like oh it's like romantic do what you do in the movies and when I first started like going on dates which is whatever I'd never even did go on dates but I would like go out to dinner you don't go like, on dates no I do kind of like now like oh. not really also I don't really go on dates with strangers like I'm not like oh she's cool let's go on a date let's like go interview each other sit across the table and like eat so it's awkward an interview. It's it is gross That's what I like to do is if I meet somebody and we've like vibed and like hung out and we like enjoy each other's company yes. and like we get along right yeah. then let's go do that again together somewhere yeah. like you'll go out together yeah, and then we'll go go okay. even if it's just for a drink but it's like i'm not like oh i never met you right let's go on a date and that's get the to whole know online other, dating thing it's which weird. i don't do i'm not yeah. on any app you're not or, yeah no, no i don't like them um what, what are we talking about oh, about splitting stuff i 
Oh yeah. Uh, what you? Well, what do you so think? I so I was on Raya. Raya, yeah. Ooh, Raya, look at you. Raya. Look at you. Yeah. She's very cool. This she's very. Popular. I mean, she's a big deal. But I she's remember. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I remember I went. I I was like, this guy must be new to dating because he like asked me out. He's a music producer. I don't know what the hell he produced, but I, just <laughs> right. I don't know. He was on Raya, so I figured it was uh -huh. good, right? Uh, hello. <laughs> so so he was like, he lived in Studio City, and I was in West Hollywood at the time, and he's like, hey, like let's go. I want to take you to an, uh, you know, lunch. We're gonna go to this really cool uh, Asian spot where you like cook your own like deal in front of a like barbecue yes. kind of thing, right? And so I was like, okay, I love cool. that. I was that like, but it's fun. like, but are you as your first date? Yeah, yeah, that's why I was like, we haven't even like. Yeah, it's an aggressive. Met. Like it was yeah. weird. Like that's I went weird. to his house. That's weird. It's you went to his like house. Very social. I went to his house at first, and then like we drove because he picked a spot that was like in fucking Burbank. I'm oh, like, oh yeah. Like what is this? Mm. Like I felt like it was a day <laughs> trip. I was yeah. like, I'm like I was over it. Like uh, 30 yeah. minutes in, I'm like I just it's just like it's just too much. It's too far. Then I got to go back. Like yeah. I have all this shit to do. Well, like, in Los I don't Angeles, know why I agreed to it. Was it awkward the date? No, it was it was awkward. Yeah. Like I'm. You know it's a great. Great first date, date a walk. You take a walk. That sounds fun. Like, that is so literally when a guy is just like, listen, I want you to be my girlfriend. Mm. Like, oh my god, I love that. Like, yes, whatever you I say. I love that. Like, it's literally great. love that. It's I love well, guys here's who are a, forward. Here's a, a, a word of advice to guys out there. Stop asking questions. Don't ask questions. You, you tell. tell. You yes. tell. Oh my god, I love you that. You tell. Yes. I love you don't that. ask questions. You oh. tell. Oh, sorry. You tell. I love it. Corey, love are you it. listening? Yeah. Just well, <laughs> if, you're, if you're already boyfriend and girlfriend, oh, when you're boyfriend and girlfriend, uh, you know what? The, you need to tell also because no, he needs 100%. to just know already what no, you like. Well, he does. But, but at the same time, boyfriends and girlfriends are scary. Like girlfriend, you gotta you know, make sure they're happy. <laughs> and a boyfriend's job, a boyfriend's job, a yeah. man's job. Yeah. Keep. The woman happy. Poor Eric. That's, oh, that's a man. Nice. But I'm always Poor happy with Eric. Yeah, that's beautiful. Aww, yeah. yeah. But Same. I think but I think the reason like why he like why him and I happened was because in the beginning he told me. Yeah. I you love that. Like we were talk like we were talking, you know, we were friends. And you for could like say six you could months. suggest, but it's like, let's go out. It's not mm -hmm. even and that's that's the that's the weakest thing to possibly say I liked, let's go out no he's yeah i liked the fact that he was like he was we're going out this is the note this he is didn't the time. Want, well not even like no not even like plans just like he we had spent the weekend together or whatever and then uh he was like hey so i just want you to, i want you to be my girlfriend via text or in person or no, on in person oh right i love it. that yeah. and then he was like you don't have to answer love me it. he's like i just want you to know where my head's at love it. i was Aww. like so clear i didn't want to answer but yeah. then like during that week i was like Fuck, that's yeah. hot. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> also, like to go out on a date, it's a lot of energy. Like to spend time with so someone, it's energy. like you gotta like really be in the mood. Yeah. Like I had talked to this one girl, and we had made plans on a like on a Wednesday to go out on Sunday. Yeah. And like by Sunday, I was like, that always I, happens. I was to like, me. and meanwhile, I think Sunday's a great time to hang out with somebody. It's very chill. But like we were gonna go on like an activity, and I was like. Oh man, I, I'm gonna have I to like call to. and like rain check to this girl. Like, is it it's so fucked up? So I call her, she doesn't answer. She texts me back, hey, can we rain check? I was like, ah, oh, that's <laughs> gorgeous. Funny. Obviously, that's meant yeah. to be. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, I planned us with a big date. You owe me one. Did you really? No. Oh, okay. I was like, haha, no worries. <laughs> Audience I here. like that. I like your whole philosophy of life, first of all. Thank you so much. Second of all, can we um, hang out more? Is that what you're gonna say, second of all? Because we should. Um, I would love to hang out. You're, you're the one who. It, you we let's go to agape i wait can we go i'm very oh okay so no, that's self pretend no. i'm very protective of my agape yes of course oh you i've been come. to agape before so, so you can, can come i would love to see you there <laughs> no but i feel i'll very, go with you no let's go to but agape. we're gonna sit but I also separate hang out so from him no but yeah we, that's fine i sing this i sing the song do you really Ooh, yeah get i used to, i went when i first moved to la this girl told me i was like i love this mm -hmm. it's vibes um god is just the love intelligence governing the universe which is amazing it's so much better than like that whole idea of like there's like an old white guy in the sky and, like, like or like jesus is gonna kill you and like yeah just no god is this love intelligence governing this <laughs> <No>. universe um <laughs> but the th oh the th point is is that what is the point the point is that i think you gave some very great thank you so much happy tools, to add value happy to be here for people to you know meditation you can always get into for free just say fuck it groups you can go to for free AA. yeah activities you could go for free yeah and that even the most positive people like dylan also get down it's and anxious true. and it's struggle true. yep and everyone out there is just doing their best you know like that's yeah. the thing too like just give everybody a break and we're all in this together we're all one we're all connected like that's your brother that's your sister out there like no matter what um uh, but seriously i want to hang out with you more because i really enjoy I hanging, out with, hang out, with hang out with you i would love to hang out with you all one of my favorite people that's oh you're cool God. too um, <laughs> 
Only on Sundays at the yeah. bungalow, though. Right. Right. Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> Should uh, we go to bungalow Sunday? I have mm-hmm. to be there. Yeah. 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 Thanks for having oh me on. God. This was all a lot right. of fun. See you on the next one. Thank oh my God, you, you got Dylan. Thank Bye. you so Bye. much. This has actually been really. This has been super fun. Yes. And you've uplifted my Monday. Look oh my forward God, to same. The, I know we're gonna start our week now with this. It's Fuck like, what yeah. a, if you have somewhere to go, that's awesome. What a yes. what a Monday for you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Usually it doesn't, you know, go home and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I go home and do things. Well, <laughs> spread let's positivity do things together. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Tell me anything. I love how Dylan texted me, or no, he called me, and I was, I think I was at a dinner, and it was loud, and I was like, hey, I can't hear you. Like, can you text me? And then he was like, oh, yeah, I was going to um, was just going to swing by your place to do a self tape. I'm like, oh, you were going to swing by my place to do a self tape. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like, yeah, I ended up. Well, I, I just thought it was been, funny. Would have been yeah. free. Uh, oh, that's and then that's I why. just was like, are you waiting? Out? No, but really, no, anytime. I was like, of course, appreciate that because you have the ring light. It's very good. Uh, the ring uh, light's so good. Do you have one of those? No, I got two. Oh. I was going to say you, you definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah. so good. So but I think if you're any of the entertainment business, if you have a really big audition, like just pay for well, the self tape because yeah, I've, yeah. if you watch different self tapes and you see somebody that's has this gray wall with this lighting it mm. looks so as much a producer nicer. and you open it up and it's that versus somebody yeah, like in their kitchen which yeah. everyone does out. but like it really stands yeah. out when you have a beautiful self i go to my coach i coach with my i, coach I have with my, my acting coach does it too and, and it's he has like a nice wall or whatever yeah yeah it's amazing that's the best and you could read sides or something i had Corey yeah. once do it where he was on speakerphone in my room <gasps> i've done that it's did so you bad. it was so embarrassing it's it was so for mean. it's when i was at i was at doing <coughs> it firework i, I think that's the day i met you i had a swat audition and i was like he was reading to me and i was like put your hands up but he was on speakerphone i was like this is the most awkward thing i've ever seen in my life and i did not get that role uh, um <laughs> that's cool you had the audition though it was cool it's, it's when amazing. i was i was i think it's literally the first day i met you or we were doing daily spill mm. is oh, firework daily. still in bu- firework is firework is still in business right. yes but but not in LA. la office is mm. closed down so mm. yes yeah it's just i can't get it. when we met i like we we clicked right away we just clicked so dylan looks no you don't look you sound ex- and act exactly like my best friend from college Why who you said this he's like i i think you can have like different soulmates but mm. he's yeah. definitely one of them like the second i met him we were just like okay you're my best friend yeah um and you i showed him a video of you and he because i've said before you look or sound like right. someone he's like no i don't he's like that's fucking scary oh really yes and he's like i need to meet this guy oh. and he's from oh, he's from cool. new york oh, and you word. guys like oh. dress you s- both say word and you both dress the same right. and it's weird i love new right. york jews i swear to yeah, god yeah we're just the best new york yeah. jews yeah. oh well that's what i want to say also about and I, I thought I, you were the, half the, black when I first met oh, you. Oh, that's what's up. Um, I, what? I don't know why. When you said you were Jewish, I was like, you're either. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe your hair. And, and hair, we're just. Yeah. Be, I mean, we're when just you travel <laughs> or when you go to college somewhere else, like you really just see people are just different, right? And like in New York, people are just so more real and honest and yes. upfront, and they're oh, just expressive. I love it. I need to. I belong out there. Hundred percent. Yes. One hundred percent. I can totally see you living in New York. And it's just a healthier way of. It's just healthier. Just hel- it's just healthier. Then LA is very passive aggressive. Very yeah. exactly. And it, fake. And it it just yeah it's just very like yeah. well it's also like a lot of insecure sick people come here to fill that hole of like oh I need to be famous right. And that's why we and, have this podcast. Right. Oh. I and read so this book like, called <laughs> The Psychopath Test. <gasps> Great Ooh. book if you're into I'm into like weird psychopaths and sociopaths. I yeah, think it's me fa- too. Me too. So you should read killers, it. Yeah. Serial killers. So yeah. it said the highest <laughs> percentage of sociopaths, psychopaths, and uh one. Uh, oh, narcissistic mm-hmm. personality disorders are in uh, the center of Los Angeles yeah, per- that's or in exactly. the entertainment industry, but so, in the world, yeah. the highest uh, percentage. Well, to <laughs> me, well, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I think the most, this is my, this is my new quote. How scary is the that? The most scary. dangerous people are the insecure. A hundred percent. Because they act out, they don't act from, <clears throat> they just, act, they just react to whatever feeling they're feeling to make them feel better in the moment, right? They can't act pure. Nothing yep. they do is really pure. Yeah. So if you're confident and secure in yourself and someone tells you good news, if you're confident and secure in yourself, you can just, oh my God, that's amazing. I am so happy for your happiness right now. Mm-hmm. How do we make this even better? An insecure person is now going to think about, okay, how do I ma- turn this to make it not make me feel as yep. bad about myself? Because when somebody says, oh, I hate that person, it just really means I hate that way that person makes me feel better makes me feel about myself mm-hmm. for sure so yeah. be careful 100%. out there and, and they're like, like manipulative too because you never know their intentions they just they're not exactly there's always scheming and something yeah and what, yeah the funny thing is more often than not people would be like yeah oh you just mean well and like you just i'm like yeah uh yeah yeah, yeah. 
like so the idea is that most people <laughs> I was like, so it's like that most people like have these agendas and i've had to have that or i've had to say that to a lot of people it's like bro there's no agenda here it's like if i'm saying something and they're like oh yeah you know after getting to know you i realize like there's no agenda like what i see is like, what what you see is what you get i'm like yeah. You know, and it's hard not to have an agenda here because everyone else does. Not everyone else, but a lot of people do. So you're like, I don't know. I feel like when I first moved here, I'd find myself slipping into that mindset. Or like if someone booked something, I'd be like, oh, I'm jealous, right. which is also easy to do. But now I'm just like, hey, if people around me are booking shit who I'm friends with, you that means too. I'm one step closer. Here's what I, yes. here's what I don't 100%. have a problem with. I don't have a problem with you meet somebody how can this person help me? I have no problem that's with that. That's fine, Because yes. that's what we're supposed to be doing. Well, that's, like, that's, that's a, community. Yeah. That's, but it could yeah. also be a mutual thing exactly. rather than like, I'm stucking well, from you. Like, well, you for know. example, yeah. when you meet a producer, how what job can I fulfill for them? That's what it is. Yes. It's like, okay, yes, it's like, oh, what do you, how can I get it? It's like me getting a job is also them fulfilling a role that they need well, to. Well, it's like, what 100%. value can I bring to this? Yeah. Rather how than can I like, improve can we your, do how, together? What value can yes. I bring to you exactly? And uh, there was a th final thing I wanted to say also, but yeah, that's essentially it kind of about, about It's like that. even going to an audition room or when I go and do stand up recently, same guy who told me, I said something else earlier. He was like, go and think about like what you can provide people with rather exactly. than like, what, oh my exactly. God, am I going to be funny? Am I going to exactly. make them laugh? Am I gonna, I'm like, no, all right, you know what? Well, that's what like Jim that. Carrey said. Day. He was like, like here you go. he woke up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat and it hit me like a bolt of lightning. What do people want? What does the audience want? Yeah. They want it to be free from concern. Yes. And once he thought, got Ooh. that. That's it. And that's a, how I operate my shtick also. Like when I'm working on camera, it's like this guy talks to people like, oh my God, I want to talk to people like that. It's yeah. like, you know, because when I talk to celebrities, it's like I talk to them like so like so beyond normal. It's like that's like, how I. Like over, you're over the top? Not over the top. Over the top as far as the casualness of the way I talk Oh, to yeah. They appreciate that. Yeah, own, and sure. I think it comes across to the audience. Yeah. Like, oh, I fuck with yeah. this guy. Yeah. And it's confidence, too. Yeah. You're confident enough to talk to them. I, you it's know, my favorite thing. Working on the red carpet is my favorite thing. You seem thing. confident. I've it's seen your favorite. videos. I've seen Before the Daily Spill, I was Oh, yeah, me you. too. Thanks. So, like, I was like, oh, my God, I love this guy. And then oh, when thank I met you so you, much. And then when I met you in the room, I was like, you are a fucking host. I know. the on-camera personality. Let's go. Let's go. And oh. that's the thing too. It's like, what are your intentions of why? You, and Megan has to leave, but why do you want to be <laughs> no, on I'm here? Like, it's I like, don't want to leave. <laughs> I, I personally, it's like I do what I do. It's like I'll go through times of feeling shitty and not doing well and not having money because like I love doing what I do. And when those opportunities come where I get to do what I'm best at and what I'm put on this earth to do, it's like nothing compares to it. So for me, it's like, oh, I have to be famous. It's like I have to do what I do to the highest possible level. You're mm. building a business, That's and it. you're not gonna make money right away. Yeah. But guess what? You will make mm -hmm. money. Once you get there, and what do all yeah. the successful people have in common? They just didn't quit. Exactly. Right? So, it's so true. That's like that Will Smith exactly. quote. He's yeah. like, you put me on a treadmill next to two people. He what doesn't talk quote? like that at Can all. You say the quote, he's, though? What he is says, it? like, he's like, if you put me on a treadmill next to two guys, he's like, they could be the fastest, like, they could be way faster than me, way stronger than me, whatever. He's like, but I literally will not stop. Mm -hmm. I could be like oh. on my hands and knees, like, I, but I literally will not stop mm -hmm. until I'm dead. Wow. And you'll you'll literally That's go through good. waves of being like, oh, my God, this is brutal. And then oh, the yeah, next like day, day, and the next day, it's like, oh, my God, I love <laughs> what I do. <laughs> Always. I love being here. Oh, it's my like God. Every other day. <laughs> yes. Everything's <laughs> happening for me. This is the best. <laughs> I'm doing this and this and this and this and this. <laughs> also, Nikki said this, and I started to do this recently. Every morning, I've been writing oh. ten things I'm grateful Ooh. for. You yes. have to. Okay, gratitude and is everything. I really, if you hear that, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, even when I, the first time I was writing it, I was like, okay, this is whatever. My dog, whatever. Blah, blah. And then, like the third day I did, I was like, I actually feel better when I do this. As cheesy as it is, and even if I'm no, not in the mood to do cheesy. it, it's not it cheesy. helps. Well, we every day we're like, oh, what do I need? What do I want? What do I how to be? I just think about what you already have. Yeah, and you already have everything. And enhance that. Right. Exactly. I was like, I'm in a fucking really comfortable bed right yeah. now. And if you're if you're like if you work on yourself, no, if wish. you work on yourself and make yourself <laughs> as best as possible, like you're gonna just attract all those things. Yes. So if you're rolling around, if you're walking around empty, searching for these things, it's just not gonna happen. But if you like get work on yourself and make yourself as healthy and positive yes. as possible. You're I just going to attract I literally all love working on myself. Yeah. Like it is it's the you're best like a magnet feeling. for good things then, yes. you know? Yeah, you it's you just going to come to you. It's going to stick to your ass like my So fat. we left you with a lot <laughs> here. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. I'm at Dylan from Brooklyn on social media. Hopefully change it to we'll Dylan put, Landon. We're going we're gonna to um, put all, are you changing it from Dylan Landon? I think I want to go with Dylan Landon because okay. it's just more of a
Um, totally. I'm going to put all of his contact info and everything and, and a uh, hot pick. Hopefully set DVR for Central Lab. That'd be awesome. And check out all the work. What is it? Do you, what is it? It's going to be on Fox. Oh, that's the November show. Your host. Oh, yeah. He, Central he's, Ab. I'm, I'm the so correspondent. proud of that's you. That's fucking that's awesome. Amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. From I'd like, the Daily so Spill I, I'll, to I'll be honest. <laughs> so it's like, and this is, I had to catch myself again. So when we shot the pilot, it was the two hosts and me. That's it. I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to be on like all the time. This is going to be right. great. Now they have like other correspondents who are doing like other stuff. So it's like someone's like the medical expert. Someone's like right. the relationship expert. And so it's like for a split second, I was just like, ugh. Oh, yeah, you know, but then you have to be like, yo, I'm so grateful for this opportunity. I'm going to make the best <laughs> of my opportunity. It's not going to affect what I do when I get the call to do what I do. I'm going to do it at the best of my, my and ability. And that's normal to be like, oh, shit. Like I've been on stuff and I'm like, oh, I thought I was the lead and I'm not. Right. Well, first on the call sheet, not Megan the Nashen. lead, but like I've thought like, more. oh, I'll have way more lines mm -hmm. than I do or, or like or or you your get lines, lines get cut. And yeah. they get cut. Right, but yeah, again, it's like, how do you serve the, the bigger? Exactly. But you're like, oh, but I still was a part of this. So yeah, that's cool. Exactly. So much gratitude. Yeah. yeah, I was in that project. I swear. I'm just so grateful. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I just want to get those emails. I'm like, yes, I'm <laughs> still in. You know, you, you could have every line cut out, but that's still me. You were still on it. That's my pinky. See it? That's my pinky. And you learn so, so much fun being here. Thank Amazing. you, Dylan, Thank again. You. It's, you're such a ray of sunshine. Really. Ray of that's, sunshine. That's cheesy to say, no, but that's true. true. No, I just, I just want to be in, on a higher level than I've ever been before. You're and in fact, more people than I've, ever been, yeah, than I've ever been before. And you're yes, make a lot of money. Yeah, what do I really want? I make a lot of money, get with <laughs> super hot girls. Honestly, why do I post anything to Instagram? It's for work, for jobs and girls. I want beautiful women and a lot of money, okay, we're gonna cut big houses. Right <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> a fucking pop in social life like yeah. I, of course we all want those things he's single but it's ladies like, wait you're single right yeah, yeah. Okay. of course he is yeah. he's like of course he is i was with this girl last nah, night but that's not about that i just do it so everyone could like understand what's going on in the world out there of dating and relationships because there's a lot going on and that's the best topic because dating relationships is what we all have in common right so yeah, people love yeah, that yeah it's, it's it's the real it's the real talk son it's the real talk <laughs> oh my god um i like to keep it real with the ladies you know what i'm saying hey straight up uh, but we'll see. I'll keep you posted if the girl I had met who I got her number yesterday. Which the, the one you made out with? Or no. The, the no, one who recorded you? The friend of the one who recorded okay. me. Who I first got her number. Right, right, right. I'll keep you, I'm going to call her tomorrow. I, think, I love that I got plan. her number yesterday. I got the call. And, I, and now what I have to do when I get girls' numbers, I have to like give them the preamble. Like, all right, I'm going to call you. There's going to be numbers that show up. Don't freak out. Oh, people freak. Oh, uh, when you call? Yeah. It's yeah. so oh. funny, it's like, isn't it? It's oh. like, what is this psycho I'm doing? Yeah, I prefer calls. You call, honestly. yeah. What calls are the I best? like calling too. I like voice notes and calling. This Texting male, makes me so angry. This male so friend of mine, and I'm still gonna reach back out to him. But this male friend of mine hits me up. He's like, "Hi, guy." I'm like, "What's up?" He's like, "How you living?" I'm like, "Oh, I what's hate up, bro? Call me." Yes. I'm like, "I don't. If you need How's to talk, it going? How call you me. been? You know what? I don't. I hate that over talk text to you yes. anymore. Well, texting, <laughs> I hate that over text. Yeah, texting is so in invasive, right? It's like you're going about your business. Now this person wants to know this thing at that time. Of They're course. Gonna, and now it comes into your world. But the second, same time, what the worst thing is like, hey man, what's up? How you been? Good. Hey man, I wanted to ask. Just ask. I know. Yeah, I hate I that. have no problem if we don't talk for a, a year. Yeah. I'll hit, I'll hit you up and be like coming over for a, a yeah. self tape. I love that so much more. Than just like these. What's up, yeah, bro? These fake. Yeah, Kanye says, "Hey man, how you doing?" He, he hits me up saying, "Hey man, how you doing?" Just is like. Who's his name? Kanye, Kanye in one of his raps. He's like, "Oh, just so you oh, can then." Oh, you I know. thought it was like Kanye hit you up. That's cool. that'd be tight, dog. I Jesus was like, I bet you would answer his. How's it going? <laughs> I'd be like, "Chill, dog. What up?" Like I'm like, "What's up?" Like I don't know. Want to come over? Good self you. Me? Yeah, self, self tape. Hey self. man. Hi. Self. Yeah, self. <laughs> Vibes, Jesus is. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna Megan, get. You I'm, gotta film. I'm Megan's gonna, a movie I gotta, star. I gotta, gotta go. I'm gonna get. I'm pretty. I'm pretty much off the show, probably. So. Bye. <laughs> okay, you guys. Fantastic. We'll Tune put all of Dil Dylan's info. Follow him. Who's call listening? him. Who's listening? Who's your audience? We have a big one.